Well, hello everyone. Welcome to a very, very special and very cool edition of Virtual Stargazing with the Manfred Olson Planetarium. My name is Kieran Arnold. I am a UWM Planetarium presenter, and I am basically a UWM junior. I'll be a junior in the fall, this upcoming fall. So, um, if I were to say that this is a sky on Earth, you would probably agree with me. However, we are not on Earth. This is what a night sky would look like if you were on Mars. How to first indication that we are not on the planet Earth is because Earth is actually in the night sky right here. Um, we are on Mars. Where on Mars are we? We are pretty much right in between where the North Pole is and the equator, somewhere in there. I don't actually know what the latitude is. But we are close to there. Um, reason I'm doing this is because we are very interested in Mars this summer because this summer there's going to be a new uh, a new rover that will be launched called Perseverance that will land on Mars. Uh, what day is it? I don't actually know. Let me see what day it is. So this is June 27th. So June 27th would be the day that I have randomly picked to do stargazing on Mars, because the reason I picked this particular day is not because of the day that this video will be posted or come out, but I picked this specific day just because I wanted to have a day on Mars when you would be able to see all these cool things. So first of all, in this area of the sky, we have a lot of cool things here. But what I'll do is I'll zoom in on Earth. So if you were on Mars, you would see Earth in the night sky, just like you would see another planet. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, I gotta deselect this. Um, information, none. Thank you. All right, so we can zoom in on Earth and we can take a look at Earth. And we can take a look at Earth's moon as well. So you can see there we have about a, uh, a crescent Earth. So there we have Earth and we have Earth's moon right there. Likewise, Mars has moons as well. We have two of them. Both of them are out right now. Right here we have Deimos and Phobos. We'll do Deimos first because Deimos looks like it's going to set fairly soon. I've always thought that Mars's moons look like potatoes, somewhat. There's Deimos. Well, it doesn't look like a potato there, but wait until you see Phobos. Phobos looks like a potato. And Phobos. Okay, they don't look like potatoes here, but in real life, they do kind of look like potatoes. But there's Deimos and Phobos. And... From Mars, we can see two planets that we normally see from Earth, pretty much in the exact same order. We have Jupiter from from Mars's perspective. So we zoom in on Jupiter. Mars is substantially closer to Jupiter. It's about half the distance closer to Jupiter. So we, if you were on Mars like this, you could see Jupiter fairly easily. So there we have Jupiter, and then we will zoom in on Saturn. Look at Saturn. There we have Saturn. You can see the rings of Saturn there and some of its moons. Notice how um, clearer the sky is here on Mars. Uh, Mars's atmosphere is very, very thin um, compared to Earth's. I don't actually know what the thickness difference is, but I know that it is substantially thinner than Earth's atmosphere. So we can see objects or anomalies like the Milky Way here a lot easier. All right, let's see if we can pick out a constellation. I'll give you a constellation here from, from Mars if I can. I know Orion was up earlier. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Because we're on another planet, everything, I know it sounds crazy, but everything kind of looks different. So I can't really 
pick out anything. And here's Antares, a star called Antares. Um, but yes, so there, if you were on Mars, these would be the most obvious things you would see. You would see like the moons of Mars, you would see the planets. I mean, Jupiter would be very bright if you were on Mars, just as in this simulation. And you would also see things that you would not be used to seeing in a night sky, like Earth, right here. All right, well, that's going to wrap it up for this special stargazing. Um, if you like this, I can do other planets too. I can do any known planet in the solar system. Um, so thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.